Jamal Nyers here with Vidal Riley, preparing to fight on a monstrous undercard here. Amir Khan versus Kel Brook. First fight in the UK as a pro for you. How great is it being on a card like this? Listen, you don't get any better than this. You know, since uh, you know Sky has had the new generation of boxing, this is the biggest show. I believe I'm one of the biggest prospects, one of the most exciting prospects worldwide, but definitely in the UK. So I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be, and I'm just grateful for the opportunity Boxer and Sky Sports have given me. So it's just time to shine now. Because obviously you've signed with Boxer now, huge platform on Sky Sports to actually, actually showcase to fight fans that you have real amateur pedigree, you know, wins over Daniel Dubois, Chris Billum Smith. How important is that to you to, because I don't think there is a degree of it, but there might be in terms of casual fans that might not know those facts. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. You know what, those things, as much as it means something in the boxing world, it's not well documented to the general public, and that's fine. Now it is. And now this is where I can show people present day. I don't want to keep talking about what I've done back in the day. It's about today, it's about Saturday, and it's about the days after that. So it's time to show what I can do and not live on history. I was camping for you and... <laughs> how, well, how well do you think you're maturing in the, in the pro game with your experience? I'm maturing well, I'm maturing well. Since I've started training with my dad again, someone who loves the game, someone who understands the pro game, he's really helped my style, really settle into being a professional. Sometimes when you're an elite amateur, you're too rapid, doing things too fast, you need to learn to settle. We've been working on that. I haven't been in the ring for a couple of years, but I've been working on my craft all of that time since I recovered from my injury. So I expect to show you those changes, and I think if I execute those changes, I'm going to have an excellent result. We know that being a great talker helps massively in the combat sports world. How, how much does that stand you in good stead? You know, you look at the likes of Amir Khan, Kell Brook, yeah. rivalries are built on that on animosity and being able to deliver yeah. those blows with your with your mouth, those verbal blows. What what is that like for yourself in, in terms of having that confidence outside of the ring as well? Listen, it's important to be confident at all times. I'm confident at all times because I put the work in. If I didn't put the work in, then you start to doubt yourself. In terms of rivalries and stuff like that, I'm sure they will come. It's not something that I choose to manifest or something I choose to grow. It's boxing, it's a sport full of egos. People will hate you and then you'll end up having to fight them and you'll have the bickers and stuff. But I'm not going to build it, I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. Because simply, I don't need to. I've got the following I need already. A lot of people do that to get more attention. I've got that already. I'm confident. I just want to perform now. It's about the hands. It's really about the hands. And you want to go the traditional route, don't you? You want to go the traditional route to British title. All the likes of Jake Paul and Tommy Fury, in your eyes, that can wait for you. Yeah, it's not even it can wait, it can never happen. I don't, I don't care about those fights, you know, it's just because I have the following I have, I could do it, but I don't want to. You know, I've been boxing since I was six years old. I've had a YouTube channel since 2018. That's new to me. You know, boxing is what I do. So I've always planned the traditional path. I didn't plan, oh, you just I've got a YouTube channel now, I'm going to run off that way. I want to stick with what I've been doing, but it's nice to know that, you know, I can gain the uh, attention from both sides. I really appreciate your time, Vidal, and thanks so much. Thank you.